Unit 4.4 Animals in Different Habitat Carefully look at this picture A. Identify the animal. It's a polar bear. Describe the habitat in picture A. It's very cold with snow and ice. Describe one way this animal is suited to this habitat. Polar bears have very thick fur to keep them warm. Polar bears have thick layers of fat to keep them warm. So that's how they survive in such cold environments. Now look at picture B. Identify the animal. It's a fish. Describe the habitat. It's water. Describe one way this animal is suited to this habitat. A fish has gills to allow it to take in oxygen underwater. Its fins and shape allows it to swim well. Look at the pictures A, B, C and D. They are the pictures of feet of different birds. Which bird do you think grips branches of trees? It's bird C and B. Which bird do you think walks? It's bird A and D. Which bird do you think swims? It's bird A. Give an example of a type of bird that swims. A duck, swan, goose or other water birds. Which bird do you think eats smaller birds and small animals? Bird B. Give an example of a type of bird that eats small birds and animals. You could write any one of these, for example, an eagle, falcon, or owl. Read the text about giraffes, then answer the questions below. Giraffes live in a tropical grassland region of Africa. It's hot and dry for most of the time there. There is grass and trees that have small thorns and leaves. Giraffes are suited to this kind of habitat in various ways. There are other animals that eat the leaves of the trees and bushes lower down. These animals are not as tall as the giraffe. The giraffe can eat the leaves at the top of the trees. A giraffe has a very thick and long tongue with which it can curl around the branch and pull the leaves into its mouth. A giraffe's mouth is covered with very thick skin, so the thorns don't hurt it. A giraffe's neck is 3 meters long. A giraffe has a very large heart because it has to pump blood all the way up this long neck to its brain. Describe the habitat the giraffe lives in. Tropical grassland with thorny trees. It is hot and dry for most of the time. How can the giraffe reach the leaves at the top of the tree? By extending its long neck. Describe two ways in which the giraffe can eat leaves on thorny trees. A giraffe has a long thick tongue to curl around the branches to bring the leaves to its mouth. Its mouth is covered with very thick skin to protect it from the thorns.